I can do it all in one day. I don't have to pull it apart, take these in, get them machined, wait for them, all that sort of stuff, you know. Um, nice cross hatching on this. Nice cross hatching surface. I don't know if you can see. It's nice. It's got a bit of a, you know, protective coating on there, so we want to get rid of that. Get it broke clean. The width, we've looked at it. It looks the same. Diameter. Looks the same as well. You should always just make sure. Yep. So we're all we're all good. These are all. So as soon as I clean those up, we can put this back on. I have got a little cleaning machine that I'll use for cleaning there. That's pretty. That's not, that's not too bad. I saw another video. I'm addicted to YouTube, by the way. Hi, my name is Jim Bob, and I'm addicted to YouTube. Uh, it's been 74 minutes since I've last looked at YouTube. And I've got all my next clips queued up. I don't know. All right, so I've got a couple of things here. I don't know what I'm going to use. A little bit of scotch right here. Uh, no, that's, that's disintegrating. I don't want that. i got this thing here. I don't know what this is. An industrial... A braise of nylon cut brush. I'm not going to stick anything too much up in here. I just want to get a little bit cleaned out where the uh, where the pads are going to rub. Yep. Um, don't want to go poking wire brushes in there and put a hole in the piston cups, uh, in the piston seals, they're not seals, they're just dust boots, but still, you don't want to do it. Okay, okay. let's go with this little puppy and see what it does. I bought this just to try cleaning up an aluminium cylinder head on a lawnmower and didn't really cut it. Not bad for this though. Not bad. I should normally put something down. I will put something down. A bit of cardboard. Just to protect me floor a little bit. Now I should really put glasses on for this, but I'm not going to go, oh no, I've got glasses just there. Just do it, just do it, put the glasses on. So you see, you know, I put safety glasses on now. You feel better about that now? Alright. Make sure these surfaces are clean too when you get to put everything back. anything brakes wise suspension or anything really you don't want any grit between the, the surfaces that's why we're giving that a little scuff up just to make sure that if you had a bit of grit in there and then it sort of crushed up then it would loosen up then this whole wheel might fall off and uh, whose fault would that be you know just because you didn't listen. Alright. Alright, so that's... That's cool. We're going to go with that. So now, we'll get the rag. Give it a... Bit of a wash off.
and then these surfaces here who's dinging me this time in the morning CNW I don't need a new car though. someone's trying to sell me something con me into buying some electrical gear go in the draw to win a car I think they have got a they got some promotion at the moment. Win a Hilux van or a Hilux, uh, a high Ace van or a Hilux U. Not a bad promotion, I suppose, is it? Alright. So, I'm good with that. Now, what they did show on one of the videos, and I've never done this before. Some fella put some stuff on here. Now... I wouldn't want that flying out. There's actually a workshop in Mackay that did it. There's a, there's a, a sponsored Bendix video with some bloke. And uh, the, the young fella put it on there. I thought, oh, I've never seen that before. But when you think about it. <laughs> We just had a little bit of trouble trying to get this this thing off, right? So, you know. Right, I'm going to find a clean piece of rag here. I should have bought some, and some shop towels. I have got some. Right. Let's get this. Wipe all this stuff off. Probably find another clean part. Hit it again. That's the wheel mating surface, so you want to make sure that's got no shit on it. inside surface here make sure that's clean that's going up on there now with my clean hands let's just chuck them on about uh, uh, there all right it's not going to hold there let me get a lug nut it's not the real name for them over here in australia we call them wheel nuts lug nuts you're a lug nut. Um, so let's see if we can get that on all the way. I don't know if we will. Yep. I'll just hold it in place while we're doing this. The so next job. Next job here is. I don't know if we can get enough magnetism on this light to do something. But we might see what we can do. Alright, that's not bad. We can see there, right? Okay, cool. I'll turn this one off just so that it doesn't give us some glare. Yeah. So I don't know where we can get you here. We might be able to... Can we get you sitting on here? Well, I heard it. I'll clean the magnet. I'll clean the magnet. So, um, I just flipped you around upside down. We get, so we get, we get a decent look at what we're doing here. I want to get these pads in. Are these pads the same? Oh, I'm sure they are. But have I checked? No, not really. But I will now. I will check. You know, what we got? Yeah. Slightly different there, I suppose. Hey, guys, I'm just editing this, and I'm, I'm looking at the, uh, the new Bendix pad, and it seems to have... Uh, sort of a shim thing metal thing built into there it's black so i didn't notice it without my glasses on and uh i'm just wondering whether you need to use the metal factory shim as well so you know if anyone knows let me know in the comments uh bendix pad do you not need to use the factory shim or you know someone will know out there someone will let us know right i'm keen to know 
Yep. So we're all good. Okay. Of course they're going to be the same, but you know, I just you always just check. Really should give these these little uh, doofenies a little clean. <laughs> sure those surfaces are good so I'm gonna to have to get this out before I do too much work on there shall I put this one down it's, uh, I'll do this side first I think I'll just stick with this I, th I think I'll stick with this one let's we'll do a little bit on here all right let's do a little bit on there because that's going to come in contact there's other contact point here You gotta make sure not to get any as greasy stuff on the uh, on the pads too, and then I would say on here you probably don't need too much on here. Let's just uh, 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 uh. then we're gonna without touching the brake pads, I'm stick this on here. Get them all lined up, the holes all lined up. Got all over my hands now, so I've got to be careful. But I've got to also, I've got to get some on here and here for these points here. There and there. So I've got something there and there. There. And there. So I'm going to put that into there. Bit of smoochy stuff. All right. Just want to get a little bit off that. Just so I don't smudge that around all over the place. grease anywhere other than where it's supposed to be around these brakes clean fingers yeah I hear that that's all back it looks like it's looks like it's good give these a little little clean now this is a contact point too just a little bit Careful there. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough there, but what I might do is smear a little bit just as it goes in. That'll go into here, over there. Push this through. Get me hole. There's a hole there, so I'll get me. I'll get me hole. Uh, roughly lined up for where I want it to be. That needs to come up a little bit. Come on. There we go. There we go. All right. Put a little bit on here now. what we don't need all right and <laughs> so 
So I'll put that in that one. Where's our hole? She wants to be about there. Oh, get back there, get back. Okay. Hole, where are you? Where are you, hole? There, okay. Be about right. So let's just check where those holes are. That's probably not bad for where the hole is, is it? Is it good? Oh yeah, so it wants to be about that angle there. This one. Probably about that angle there. I think we needed to put this in first. We did too. Don't think I do want to put any grease on that. That's just a little bit too close for comfort on everything. So let's take that one back out. Get this back in. Here. Whoop, get in there. Get in there, boy. That's good. That's good. And then we've got to get these little puppies into here. That's good. I'm going to put the, the clip on, haven't I? So what we do is we go in here. I think we go in here. Which one do we go first? In here? Yeah. That's where it would be handy to have glasses on. There we go, that one. And because I've lined it up, I've, uh, I've helped myself out there. We're all clipped in, so now we can just go and plonk that back on there. We've got to be ready with our, our bolt. What I'm going to do, I'm going to chuck a little bit of uh, anti seize on uh, all each of these bolts. Always a good thing. A little bit of, I don't know what I've got here. This is free from someone else. Oh, it's the good stuff. Anti seize. A little bit of that on there. It ain't going to hurt no one. And the next bloke, he's going to go, oh, you're awesome. You know, he'll never know who I am, but just trying to make friends with the world. Okay, so this is the one I want. Oop. Have I got enough? Have I got enough? Did I push it back enough? Come on. Please say yes. Yeah, I think that will work. That will go. Yep. Come on. Oh. You do really have to get it all the way back into the pistons to uh, to make that work. There we go. We're in. We're in. Down here for a second, you can see what I'm looking at. I'm looking at me, looking at you. It's in here somewhere. Mr. Seventeen, come in, Mr. Seventeen. Click. I don't know why people see the need to do that joke over and over and over again. Yet I still do it myself. I don't know. I don't get myself yet. I'm still learning about myself.
Okay. I can tell by the neck muscle that I nearly strained. It's tight enough. So we're good. Got new disc pads in. That's what it looks like with new disc pads. Uh, that's good. New rotor. That's good. Let's, um, let's go. Whoop. You nearly fell there, didn't you? Hold on there, eh? Hold on. Uh, just gonna go and chuck a little bit of hoop de goop de on here. So there's a bit of hoopty goopty on there. Apart from cleaning up a mess, um, we're pretty well right. I won't put the wheel on just yet because uh, I do want to put the cap back on here for the bleed brake bleeding and I, I, I want to top up the fluid and maybe just run a little bit of fluid through just for the hell of it really, just in case it's got any air in it. So um, I will leave that one alone for a minute i'm going to go and do the other side uh you just don't need to see that do you uh, i'll just we'll come back later on we'll do the um we'll do the airbags together and we might i'll come back when we do the bleeding as well probably before the airbags because we've got to take this out of the shed turn it around this this is what they call a uh, a shop in in australia and probably in new zealand as well down under right this is a shed it's not a shop um, but you could call it a workshop, but usually that's only if it's commercial for some reason. Uh, or if it's some other sort of industry other than car repairs, you might have a workshop. But you don't really have a shop, because a shop is where you go and buy stuff. Alright, so um, if we're going to go down in the shops... We're going to go down and buy something. We might just go down to a corner store and buy some lollies. Do you know what that is? Some sweeties? Do you know? yeah. It's all different, isn't it? So, um, this this is a shed. Okay? And, uh, <sighs> story's going nowhere. All right. I'm going to get in here and do some stuff and, uh, that light's, that light's coming handy. I'm waiting for a good one to come. I've, I've got another one coming, a brawn one. No, no, no names, no names. But it swivels this way, and it's metal, and it might have a bit of magnet in this. These were cheap as, cheap as chips, but that's all right. I quite like it. Um, anyway, let's get round to the other side, get this show on the road, and uh, I'll come back to you in a minute. All right, guys, the second side's done now. Got everything all done. All we need to do is just make sure we've a little final bleed of the brakes. I'm going to need a helper for that. I mean, I could do it with me, myself with that sort of gear in a jar and all that sort of stuff. You could do it that way, you know, but uh, sometimes it's nice to ask for help. See if you can get any. <laughs> so, yeah, we, we're all, we've got all our uh, little bits of that brake lubricant stuff for the uh, all the points where the brake pads rub on the caliper and where all everything slides if this was a two-part caliper you'd have one piston or pistons on one side this is a double acting double acting uh, uh caliper so uh, quite often the single acting ones you just have one piston or two pistons on one side and the other side would sort of float and it would have all these slides and all of those would have to be lubricated up um, it's quite common for them to jam. I know Munition Patrol ones up the top there, they always used to sort of seize up and well, as long as you're using stuff it's fine, you know, but uh, you, you'd put some of that special grease in the slides as well. And they have little bellows in there to stop, you know, stop dust and crap getting in there, but uh, it's quite common for those to lock up and then, you know, one of the pads locked on or not working or something like that, you know, so anyway, this is the good stuff, you know, this is, this is pretty flash. Pretty flash sort of uh, brakes, you know, in the, in the old days, or even now. Um, people would, you know, put on some decent calipers, Brembo's or whatever, and that'd be something like this. You know, that'd be something like big pistons, double acting, twin, you know, so this is a quad piston sort of deal, uh, double acting sort of thing. So that, um, 
in, in a way, there's a lot less moving parts, except, you know, you've got to make sure this, the pistons can slide in there you know if you if you're redoing if, you, if you're servicing the calipers you would you'd be pulling out those pistons and making sure they're all clean and putting new dust caps on and maybe a little bit of lubricant in the uh in those those caliper uh those pistons um stuff like that maybe so um yeah that's about it i've got a little bit of um a little bit of anti seize on the on the wheel nuts, you know. Proper job, mate. This is looking pretty nice in here, eh? You know, someone I don't know whether the old boy's done this or whether when he took it in for detailing, he went and got the got the whole thing detailed. So they might have done that. They might have done all that. So um, it's looking nice underneath. I think he did this himself, actually. This bit here. So yeah, looking very nice. I think we need a little bit of uh, battery uh, battery terminal protector on there. I might uh, might look at that. Might look at that. Uh, yes, I will. I'll, I actually I actually quite like just going with straight up. I um, see oh, so he's got his external battery charger thing here. No, I actually like going straight with uh, the old um, Vaseline. Um, but I've got some of that spray here. Oh, he's got a separate filter in there. Someone's put this. Yeah, the additional filter. Good and bad. Good and bad. You know. Uh, some people like to stay with the standard filters. If I if 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 I bought myself a Prado, which I will do. Well, I'm probably going to buy a petrol now. I've decided. I think I'm decided on a petrol. Um, I think I, if I did get a diesel though, I would leave it with the standard filtration. I wouldn't put anything extra because they do have some issues. If you do get it wrong, sometimes you cause some fuel starvation issues. You know, so you're better off just making sure you put decent fuel in it. Maybe a fuel additive now and then as well, and um, you're replacing your fuel filters. The one underneath as well. There's one underneath there. We'll we'll have a look when we go to the other. Um, I'll, I'll call out for some help and. Uh, What's that? Tenth, twenty. So there's new battery in there. I think I've got the old one over there. I don't think there was anything too much wrong with it. Must have just gone flat from sitting. Delcor, yeah. So I don't know which one's the starting battery and which one's the, you know, in these things. Um, can you tell which one's factory? It'd be the other one. The other one there, because it's got the. Um, so this would be the factory battery position. Fuse box is right beside it, so that'll make sense. So that'll be the ch starting battery, and then this one here you will have in there for uh, for uh, yeah, fridge and all that sort of stuff. Um, so you've done a good job. It's all nice and tidy. Very nice. Very nice. Someone's going to be very happy with this this rig. I just want to show you something on the old um, the old pads here. I'll take. Uh, oh, I started putting them away. I don't know why I keep all this stuff. But what we got here is these little metal things, little metal wear strips. Uh, does everyone know about those? So what that is is when the material all rubs out. Let's see if we can find another one here that might show it better. Uh, it's only got wear strips on one side. The other ones, actually, I'm going to check that. These ones here got wear strips. Oh, wear, wear. They squeal when when they get down and touch the discs, and it's a warning to uh, to replace the pads before it gets right down to metal. This has only got. Let me just make sure that up. I sort of want to have a look at that and see if uh, see where the wear strips are. I can't see anything there, hey. I can't see anything there. Well, that could be a rookie mistake. If there's if there's only wear strips on two of them, I needed to put one on each disc. 
Just hang fire here. We'll have a look. Quickly pull this out. Here comes me help. All right, I'll come back to you in a minute. Yeah, as I thought, I just pulled this out of here, and two of them don't have the squeal pattern. And that's a rookie mistake, you know. Like, let me let me show you over at this other side because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. I'm going to swap it into this side, but these little metal bits here which um let me get the light out those little metal bits there uh they'll they'll rub on your disc on your disc here yeah yeah when uh when the pads are about run out you know so it's just a little safety thing so i had gone and put <laughs> funnily just how they were they were um they're in the packet you know, facing each other like that much like I've done here. Oh, I've just gone and put them back in the packet. And um, I happened to notice, oh yeah, here's the, the little the metal thing here, right? And I thought, oh yeah, okay. And I, and I thought, oh, I didn't notice if, if they were on the other side. And sure enough, I've gone and put two of the ones with the squeal thing on the one side that's no good so um i'll just quickly whip out this one here put that on the other side put the other one into here and we're we're gold back to where we were five minutes ago all right lucky i just checked so what we're doing here is just doing a little bit of bleeding i've done the other side i've got my little uh bleeding hose here to keep things clean let me turn the little spanner hang on let me put a cab on backwards so i don't bump you all right, okay. JB's in the car, doing the brake bleeding part. All right, so down slowly, up, down, oh, hang up, down slowly, down. up. Does it feel like I've got a pedal there? Yeah. A little bit, but not yeah. Resistant. Yeah, it's probably because the, the the car's not on the brake booster and stuff. So, um, I do one more. There's no air coming out, so that's the main thing. So down slowly. Yeah. Up. Okay. So I reckon we're good. There's no air in there. That was all I'm really making sure of. Oops. Oops. Uh, making a mess. A little oopsie. Put our little protectant cap back on there. And apart from putting the wheels on and putting it down on the ground, we are done. All right, so that's replacing the rotors and the brake pads, lubing them up right, checking the brake bleeding only because we did that funky thing where instead of pushing it back and letting all the fluid go back in the reservoir and possibly over uh, over bubble over the top um we've gone and bled it out that's something that i wouldn't normally have done but because some bloke said that there's ports in these modern master cylinders and, and abs brakes it's like oh okay you know i'm willing to learn something i'm willing to learn something new i don't need to know everything all right we're good all right so we're done jim bob out <laughs>
to my heart, baby blue. Yabba dabba doo.